days of spring and summers free in love forevermore. Though numerous maids have turned my head. Romance is one of those things that, well, makes you sick, really. It's very overrated. Only when you're missing out. Baz, I've told you not to sneak around. It's so sneaky. Boundless as the sky, eternal and divine. It's like a disease. For love like that, twixt thee and I, doth moon and stars outshine. You enjoyed that, didn't you? Yes. Now, let me see. I wish for a boy to be interested in me. Oh, jealous, are we? You know I'm not like that, Bruce. No, I'm wishing for a boy because... Um... You can't get one yourself. Thank you. <laughs> Look, Pen, magic's not the answer in situations like this. Uh, you can talk. Mummy certainly wouldn't be interested in you if you were just human. I know you use magic on her. Oh. Do you, Dad? Well, of course not. If he was human, there's no way anybody would be interested in him. He'd be like... Like you, Pen. <laughs> right. That's it. This is a wish, Bruce. I wish for you to be human. No magic, no powers until midnight tonight. Me too? No. You can be my genie for a day. <laughs> Doesn't feel any different. <laughs> hey. Hey, I felt that. Interesting. Let's see what Mummy thinks of him now. Uh, Diana. Hey, Penelope. Is that your new boyfriend? <laughs> oh. I wish the earth would swallow them, Baz. Passion stirs within my soul. Sorry, didn't I mention the bog? People are always falling into it. <laughs> Somebody! Someone's got to help him. You were very brave, Bruce. Oh, really? Do you think so? For a clown. Oh, what are they? Uh, goosebumps. Haven't you ever seen them before? No. How human. I must say, I was awfully worried about you, Sophie. Where are you, Sebastian? That's so sweet. If I can't have romance, they certainly can't. I wish you'd get rid of the boys' bears. Looking for Thomas and Sebastian? Oh, I'm sorry, they've gone. They had other dates. Boys. They're so unreliable. They're never around when you need them. Why can't all boys be like Prince Umberto of Moldovia? Oh, so yummy. And so rich. Yes. Of course you realise Prince Umberto and I are having dinner tonight. Oh, you didn't. Oh. <laughs> Who is Prince Umberto? Who is he? Oh, Baz, he's only the most eligible boy in the whole world. He's heir to the throne of Moldovia. So where's that? Oh, it's... Somewhere. It doesn't matter. He's perfect for me. I'm um, also... Um, I want to do something for Diana. You know, something nice. Why don't you cook her a nice dinner? Mossop, that's... That's brilliant! That's, that's so human! Uh, so, uh... So what do we cook? Roast lamb? That is brilliant. I mean, that's just so ordinary. Marcia, Sophie. We've told everyone that we're... that you're having dinner with Prince Umberto. You should see them. They're all squirming with jealousy. Yes, I can see. Please crawl in. I mean, come in. We'll have to get a photograph to show everybody. Oh, of course. Say hey, cheese! I can't wait to meet him. No, nor can I. I wish he was here right now. Oh. Uh, 
हेलो May I remind you that you have a meeting with the Japanese ambassador in 15 minutes? Must I, Grigor? Of course you must, your highness. And uh, following that, you must review the armored regiment. There's a flag-raising ceremony commemorating Moldovian independence. <laughs> Not to mention your speech to parliament, seven minutes free time before the royal dinner party. It's so quiet here. Too quiet? We can make it louder. No. No, I, I like it. Oh. No bodyguards, no sycophants, no press people snapping endless photographs. But Excellency, you are Prince of Moldova, ninth richest principality in the Northwest Mediterranean region. It is your duty and privilege, your responsibility to be our figurehead. Don't worry, Your Excellentness. We don't like photographers or sycophants around here either. Much. Well, I've got the potatoes, onions, carrots, cauliflower. Ah. Well, that's a lot. Uh, Bruce, any reason we didn't just go to the supermarket instead of out here to this farm? Is that how you normally do it? Ah, well, doesn't matter. <laughs> Feeling very human. <laughs> Even found us a leg of lamb. Yeah, oh, I'll, uh, I'll work out what to do with the other three legs when we um, get back home. <laughs> Darling. <laughs> Darling, did you know that Master and Sophie are sleeping in the entrance hall? Really? Oh, that what was that? A, um, a cricket? <laughs> Penelope, if you've got a boy in your room... <laughs> <laughs> See? I told you it was fun! Uh, I'm very sorry. It, it was very inappropriate. I'll never do it again. Oh, no, uh, that's nothing. Do I know you from somewhere? He's Prince Umberto of Moldova. And he's keeping the ambassador waiting. Your Highness, really, we've wasted enough time here. You have an image to maintain. It's just no fun being a prince. You mean you're leaving already? Well, I wish I didn't have to. So do I. Your Highness, I'm cancelling all your engagements for the rest of the day. Are, are you absolutely certain? You, you don't sound like yourself. No, I don't. In fact, I just might. Find a whole new career. But is there a problem, officer? No problem. Apart from you speeding, no problem at all. Oh, what a relief. I was worried there for a moment. <laughs> Worried. <laughs> I mean, what a human thing to do, eh? <laughs> Can I see your license, please, sir? Huh? Oh, oh. Uh, careful, it's um, very old. What is this? Uh, it, it's a letter of authority from the Sultan Ascabala to drive a two horse chariot between um, sunup and sundown. <laughs> is this a joke? Well, it's not good enough. And is this a family member or your uh, driving instructor, sir? It's a sheep. Welcome to the Von Meister Experience Bird Watching Tour. So, where are the birds? Ah, up in the sky. Where do you reckon they'd be? You haven't been doing this very long, have you, hey? <laughs> Go on, Red, come here. Listen, I want you to do a bit of a recce. 
Check out the place. Find Panopoly. When you find her. <coughs> Charm of socks off her. I, I must apologize again for my uh, unprincely behavior on the bed. Oh, no. We don't care about that sort of thing. Beauty, because I do it all the time when you're not here. It's so uh, different to the palace. Rules and regulations uh, always having to be so uh, civilized. Huh. No one cares here, do they, Pen? So have some fun. Baz, Humberto is not some Australian pleb like Conrad. <sighs> Oh, uh, ladies. Uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, we must apologize for fainting before. I'm sure that happens to you all the time. Maybe Conrad would like to play too. Oh, what a wonderful idea. That'd be my wish for him to see me now. He'd be so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Why don't you watch where you're going, Pal? I'm, I'm really sorry. I didn't see you. Oh, get off me. I was having too much fun on this, uh, this, this thing. Apparently, you can even dry clothes on it. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Conrad, why don't you watch where you're going? I must order one of these for the palace. Conrad, this is a friend of mine, Umberto. Delighted. <laughs> I don't often get a chance to meet normal people. Who are you calling normal, Pal? Oh. For me. Thank you very much. Unfortunately, I have to give them to charity. Oh. Conrad. He's a prince. Oh, I know he's a prince. Umberto. <laughs> oh. Roger, over and out. You got no ID, no passport. There's no record of your birth, no record of your entry into the country. The only thing we know about you is you can't drive. So, um... Am I in trouble? Of course you are. These humans always get in trouble, aren't they? It's just part of the whole amazing tapestry, isn't it? <laughs> what an experience. Nice quiet group, aren't they? I reckon we should get more of them. What do you reckon? Yeah, well, book them yourself then. I'm not booking any more tour groups until I get paid. I'll break it down, doll. It's only a couple of weeks late. Otto, you owe me six months' pay. All right, darling. I was going to keep this a secret, but since you've forced it out of me, because I respect you, because I'm proud of you, because I'm a generous sort of guy, I'm offering you a half share in the business. This business? God, it's worth nothing. It's less than nothing. It's an insult. <laughs> That's all right. You don't have to thank me. If you look carefully, I think you'll spot a vulture around here somewhere. Really? Yeah. Big fat one. <sighs> Get a photo of him, or else no one's going to believe we have met him. Oh, how can we brag if there's no evidence? But he hates photographers. He's a very private and cultured person. Prince Umberto. Oh, Penelope said he's some famous dude, you know, and that got me thinking. Oh, so Con Conrad, I have warned you about that, haven't I? I have told you specifically not to think. You know why, don't you? Uh, there, you're doing it again. You are thinking again. Well, I'll tell you why. It's because you're thick. Now, for instance, what was this alleged thought you were supposed to have had? I was thinking we get a few snaps of him swinging from the clothesline, then we sell him to the papers for a packet. See? Stupid. We haven't got a camera. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on. Hi, everybody. You've 
no idea what it's like at the palace. Always on show all the time. Must be awful. But you're a prince, Prince Umberto. People want to know where you're going, who you're with. But everything I do gets reported, filmed, and photographed. Then it gets published in the tabloids. It's awful. Well, that won't happen here, Pen, will it? Of course not. <laughs> um, if, if I'm to be staying for dinner, should uh, not someone be preparing it? True. I wish it was happening right now. That's right, Inspector. Uh, Middle Eastern terrorists are on their papers. I managed to capture them all by myself. Um, sorry, sir. Uh, Constable, come in, Constable. Uh, Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Glad we got out of that one. <laughs> Glad. I mean, that's just so human, no? <laughs> Bewildered. That's human, too. Uh, I know you are the chef and everything, but I've never done any cooking. W would it be possible to help? You can do it all if you like. I think I need a lie down. Uh, 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 do you know anything about cooking? No. <laughs> Me neither. I wish you'd learn quickly. I'll do the consomme and the pâté en croûte. And I will do the tree a la vinaigrette and the creme brûlée. Uh, excuse us. We understand you've got an indoor royal Preston Umberto around here. Murder at 12 o'clock. Ready? Steady. I wish you were making custard tarts. Take your eyes from the birdie. Fire! Ah! <laughs> I wish they'd get lost. Let's all get lost! That was close. We were just wondering if we could possibly... You've still got to get some photos or nobody will believe us. And if nobody believes us, then we'll just be nobodies. And that includes you. So get a photo of him. I wish I was at home so at least I could get changed. I wish you both were. Not only are our clothes ruined, but we have not seen a single bird for the entire trip. Now, look, I know you're upset, but I think this is going to cheer you up no end. This is my specialty. I prepared this for you myself. You are going to love it. What duck? Oh. Why? Why, oh, they're bird lovers. Oh, they're going to love this. I went to this. You're going to love it. Murder. Hey? Oh, you shall feel very strange sitting at the dinner table with your lady chef. Well, the chefs insisted. They wanted to do everything themselves. Bruce thought it would be... Very human. Yes. You know, it's a funny thing. Pre-dinner chef. Some people just can't do it. Really? The reason I came down under, some Aussie chaps and I decided to hold a sort of global think tank, put our heads together, see if we could nut out the problem. Pre-dinner chat? Yes. Did you come up with any topics of conversation? Oh, yes. That was the best thing about it. I only have to mention the think tank and everyone becomes incredibly fascinated. Oh, you can see why. Dinner is served! Ladies and bubbles, I'm proud to present kerosene. A quiz oh. cuisine. Queer scene a la Umberto and Bruce. Oh. Bruce, I never realised you had so many talents. Oh, thank you, but uh, really it's nothing. I'm only human after all. <laughs> uh, uh, please. please. <laughs> Sublime. I've never had such beautiful company. It's very satisfying serving people, isn't it? Especially when they're so appreciative. <laughs> Can I just say this is one of the happiest moments of my life? If I was not going to be a king, 
I think I would be a chef. <laughs> Is that a camera? <laughs> Is what a camera? Uh, this! Um, why, yes, I think it is a camera. Were you taking photos of me? Photos of you? With this camera just then? Um, well... Uh, well, you, you see, Umberto, um, Pen knew what a great time you were having, so she just thought you should have a memento. Is that true? I certainly wish it were true. <laughs> I mean, well, yes, of course. <laughs> Oh, you don't know what this means to me. Being happy with such good friends is, is so much more important than being famous. That's what Pen always says. Yes, I do. Quite often you hear me say that. Thank you very much. Uh, would you mind? No. that wait till morning. But do you leave it till morning? Well, no, but it's my job. Yeah, well, I'm just enjoying a human mum. Bruce, you'll be a very strange human. Yeah, thank you, Mossy. Got any more tricks up your sleeve? Well. Wow. Ouch! Oh! Hey, you've cut yourself. Oh, no, you don't. Not when I've got the opal, mister. I wish we were back in England right now, Baz. I wish Mummy's finger was better. Oh, you kissed a batter. Penelope! 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 Have you got the film? Uh, no, I gave it to Prince Umberto. Parcel for Penelope Pounds. Oh. Weren't you... Aren't you... I was. But then, one day, suddenly, I realized what was important to me. Oh. Freedom! That and a goodbye. Signed here, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you don't have any proof that we... that you met him? Not one single photograph. Oh, well, I suppose I do wish that... Oh. You wish? Oh, no, actually. But what about all our friends? What well, are we going to say to them? I've realised that Umberto was right. Being happy is more important than being popular. And some magic moments don't need to be shared with everybody. Thank you, Bears. No worries. <laughs> <laughs>